Lower scoring the better for Central Michigan tonight. It's a handoff, the first carry of the game, and again another loss of two yards. Second and long after just a two-yard pickup. Play action, sidearm throw, Blake Bosma the catch. He's got the first down, and he goes twisting down to the 30 for 19 yards in the game's first first down. It's a moves from the tight end here, just bringing him across underneath. He's got to beat one guy. He's able to do that, put the move on, and get upfield and get that ever-elusive. Second and long after just a two-yard pickup. Play action, sidearm throw, Blake Bosma the catch. He's got the first down, and he goes twisting down to the 30 for 19 yards in the game's first first down. From the tight end here, just bringing him across underneath. He's got to beat one guy. He's able to do that, put the move on, and get upfield and get that ever-elusive. 0 for 5 on third down. Glasser. Suffocating pocket, gets away. Uses the leg, floats it down the far sideline, and it's caught. B.J. Harris with the third down conversion for Central Michigan. Watch the poise. Things are going. A lot of young quarterbacks would have tucked and ran. Those eyes stay downfield. Throws some nice touch on that pass. Receiver helps him, goes up and get it. But wow. Play action, he does look to throw. Sidesteps pressure, launches downfield, has a man, and it's caught by Solomon Davis. You wanted a shot, you got a shot. Low, a little bit, create a little separation there, but a nice job by Davis of just kind of finding the football and adjusting, helping his young quarterback out. 26 and 20 yards respectively on the last two plays for Central Michigan. Blaster to throw again, stepping up in the pocket, and he's dropped. Back to the ground game with B.J. Harris, and he scampers in. Harris got this drive going. Just great job. The right side of that offensive line for the Chippewas. It's a third and eight. Luke's again has a seam, jumps over a man, and he's down to the 20. Yeah, they're going to get some window dressing there, but just getting him downhill, that offensive line doing a nice job, a little bit of a hurdle. Six seconds before halftime. Glasser to throw over the middle. Pass is caught near the 30 by Solomon Davis. He goes down with two seconds, and Central Talk calls a timeout. Hold it executed here. They're going to bring pressure. They'll hold up. Got that space. Now everybody gets downfield. A nice. He's got the leg. Chance to go up 13 at halftime. And Madsen. Got it. was the first penalty of the night against Central Michigan. Lukes, great run, has a seam, has a first down, and he ducks underneath the tackler down to the 38 for 19 yards. I guess he swore out number 63, the center pulling around, doing a nice job just sealing that edge. They also have a kicker in Tristan Matson, who's made from 36 and 47 yards today. Glasser to throw, snaps over the middle, and it's picked off. Tate Halleck with the interception. He's got space down the sideline, cuts back. Tate Halleck, pick six. Eastern Michigan has life. And just like that, things change. He doesn't see Halleck. He's just playing center field. Steps right in front of it, looking for that receiver running down the seam. And... Oh, he's been really smart tonight. Hasn't kind of tried to force things there in that third and long. Yeah, but he, very early on, I've been impressed. You know, to that first game against Toledo when it was his first start. And Glasser under trouble, and he's sacked. Walker just working upfield. He's able to beat again. Third and 11. Glasser has time. Steps up, now flushed out. Chased down by Walker. Zips it over the middle for a completion and a first down. The best traits for a young quarterback is the ability just to shake off mistakes. Things are breaking down. Eyes continue to stay down. 11th play of the drive. 
B.J. Harris is driven backwards behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of two on Tyson Lee's penetration. Yeah, good job by Lee. He gets upfield. He... Keep it on the ground with Harris, who cannot make a move past the defender. Ripped down for a loss of four by Donald Willis. Up two possessions. And this is the first time Western Michigan's offense has taken a snap in an hour and three minutes of real time. But it looks like they haven't missed any time at all. They're up top, driving him off the ball. Coming in, a nice pass, extending the head. Western Michigan has ran in Central Michigan territory. Play action for Wolf. Looking to take a shot. Pocket suffocates and he's dropped. Western Michigan not being on the field. Their deep, the Central Michigan's defense hasn't been on the field, but they did not fall asleep on that line and were able to take Wolf down and set him in a really second and long. Wolf drops it off over the middle, caught by Abdu Salam, shakes a tackle, and he's down to the 37. Level of security to this offense because he's so dependable. There, just underneath, check it down, and then he. Play action. Wolf slips, and he can't shake the sack. And by Keyshawn Parker. Keyshawn Parker, you see him up top, a little bit hesitant, making sure there's nothing coming back. Huge opportunity for Central's defense. Wolf stepping up, zips it, passes, juggled, and caught. And the Broncos are trying to get lined up quick. He's not going to catch it initially. Is he able to control it going down to the ground? Oh, wow. So he actually, that was the third attempt yeah, at catching it. Juggled it twice. Now the ball does touch the ground. That's okay now, but is he controlling it? It's going to hit once. He's going to have to try to catch it again. You're not going to see a second time to third time. In the fourth quarter. Fake to Buckley. And he's sacked for the third time this drive. Getting upfield. The swim move. Able to beat. The center, Jacob Gideon, get back there, get his hands up, bring him down. And... Second and 13. Buckley on the ground with a great chunk of that yardage back, and he's down to the six for a first down after 15 yards. Western Michigan's been able to respond. Really nice job there. Great read. Addison Webb. Buckley right up the middle. Little extracurriculars going on after Western Michigan's first offensive touchdown of the game. Just getting him downhill. You see Brown just getting the push here. That Broncos numbers that would make Army blush. <laughs> it's a handoff to Luke's. It reverses field. Somehow got out of the tackle, and now he ducks down. He made it worse, actually, Craig. He's going to get it. Head to his right. He's going to run into like a brick wall there. Stays on his feet, tries to reverse field. And I'll tell you what, great job there by number 30, 90. By Western Michigan. It's a Chippewa State tonight. Central Michigan wins the first battle for the victory cannon at home in more than 14 years. six straight losses at home in 10 of the last 13 in total. The Victory Cannon Trophy will stay here in Mount Pleasant. Got to credit that Central Michigan defense for the way they played tonight. Young freshman quarterback stepping up. And not a better way to end a five-game losing streak than a win over your rival at home.